forecast because we have more than one first alert on the seven day and the first one's tomorrow, Lisa. Yes, so we have a couple in the next couple of days here and then another one by the end of the work week. So we've got a lot going on unsettled weather pattern. You've heard us talking about this all day long. Well, let's break down what we can expect here for the next couple of days. Two first alerts, 90 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms kind of taper off on Thursday and then returning Friday, even into Saturday, the beginning of the weekend, watching for more of these showers and thunderstorms heading our way. But three first alerts in the mix. Let's take this day by day. This is what we're seeing right now. Fairly quiet. We had some spotty showers rolling through the area earlier this afternoon. That just is a little taste of what we can expect by tomorrow. Waking up, heading out the door seven o'clock. You can see more widespread showers headed our way, all lifting up towards the north and kind of becoming more widespread, not rolling out some embedded thunderstorms as well, especially in the afternoon. Looks like we see a lull taking place overnight or that evening, if you will, still spotty showers expected similar to what we had today and then more of this rain arriving overnight. So this is what we're going to see these rounds of rain taking place. They will be heavy at times and because they are heavy, not ruling out the possibility of some minor flooding, something to keep in mind. But if you're heading off to the bus stop early tomorrow morning, temperatures mid 60s, not a bad start temperature wise. But of course, we talked about the rain expected, so take that umbrella on that commute home. 71 degrees by the time you get dropped off. You'll probably still need the umbrella. Hopefully a lot of us will see some clearing just depends on where you are now for tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will peak in the lower 70s. However, with the rain in place, these temperatures are going to fluctuate in the 60s. So when we see a lot of that rain, temperatures are going to toggle. So you're going to notice the 60s through the majority of tomorrow. So cooler, but we will warm up into Wednesday. Two first alerts expected. Now, not ruling out an isolated, strong, too severe thunderstorm possible tomorrow, but I want us to keep this in mind for Wednesday, especially with some clearing, partly cloudy skies overall. One to three inches of rain in total just in the next couple of days. That does not include the rest of the week. So that's significant, something to keep in mind. But the good news is my favorite day is going to be Thursday because that's when we see some clearing high pressure briefly built into our forecast 82 degrees expected for that high lots of sunshine wind speeds out of the north around 5 to 10 miles per hour and then we'll do it again with those rain chances returning right back in our forecast in a Friday. So a breakdown of what we can expect. We talked a little bit about the rain chances. Temperatures obviously a little cooler tomorrow, but we will rebound returning into the 80s there afterwards. Mid 80s by the end of the seven day forecast rain chances. They do taper off a little bit here by the end of the seven day, but overall still in place. Now I want to leave you with a look at your seven day forecast. I'll give you some time to absorb this. We talked about tomorrow. Let's talk a little bit more about Wednesday with some scattered thunderstorms in place. High temperatures are going to range depending on where you are, but we will be warmer. Lower 80s for most locations like the southeast over across parts of the Piedmont area, upper 70s in the foothills and mid 60s for our mountain communities. And then as we finish out the seven day forecast, another first alert in the mix on Friday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, highs continuing in the lower 80s and then more scattered showers by Saturday thunderstorms in place. My favorite day this weekend will be Sunday as of right now. We'll see how that plays out with this system from Friday into Saturday morning, especially then it looks like we're going to continue with this clearing into Monday 85 degrees for the high. So temperatures will rebound and return a little above normal here by the end of the seven day forecast. Lisa, thank